Women originally wore high heels to appear more masculine. I don't know how women do this all day. Boy, have things changed. It's time to sprinkle a little substance into our beauty routines by learning the roots of your favorite trends, who history's earliest trendsetters were, and how to rock the looks they inspired. Sheet mask! Before it's over, you'll be asking, can I borrow that? For hundreds of years, high heels were only worn by men. And now, the highlights of high heel history in under 60 seconds. High heel shoes made their first appearance on Persian soldiers in the 1500s. They needed to keep their feet locked in their stirrups while riding into battle. But the real king of heels was Louis XIV of France. The five foot four fashionista sported a chunky heel to give himself a little boost. His heels were always red, a symbol of decadence and power. He even made it illegal for people outside of his court to wear them. Early heels ranged in style. While some were pretty dope, many would definitely be considered a fashion faux pas today. What are those? Fast forward to World War II, when heels made a comeback after disappearing for a few hundred years. Photography was now a thing, which meant so was pornography. The earliest pinup girls were put in tall, skinny heels, which accentuated their butt and arched out their back. The erotic photos were slapped on postcards that kept World War II soldiers company. Heels, for the first time, became a universal sex symbol. Heels were once very functional, and now they can be downright dangerous. That's why I've invited my good friend Jackie Ina to give me a few pointers. High heels give me like a lot of stress. I think of falling, tumbling, looking like a dummy. If it's my kitten heel, I can wear that every day. Did you just? Nah, kitten heels don't count, girl. I brought a couple examples for you. I okay. feel like there's a couple styles that every person should know, right? Okay. I would always say the wedge, because you have this solid black, yeah. it really, it's foolproof. The weight of your body is being evenly distributed all throughout the shoe, so that's what makes it easier to walk in, right? This is your starter shoe, and I always say this is your cheat sheet. Like, get comfortable in this, but eventually you're gonna have to move on to something else. So, the oh, next yes. best thing is think of the chunky heel like an elevated kitten heel. If this is really slim, it means you got a chance in hell. You made one wrong move, you might wobble over. But when the shoe is chunky, it's more stable. Yeah. It's actually way more comfortable. And honestly, I feel like I can run errands in these shoes. They're very, they're, I know I'm trying it. They're, Did you hear errands? <laughs> well, first of all, <laughs> My errands are like shopping, but that's beside <laughs> the point. All of this is good. However, we're avoiding something super important that I and all fellow kitten heel wearers want to know. How do you handle the pain? Do you wax? Yeah. Do you tweeze your brows? Thread maybe? Yes. You get the occasional cramp, right? Month. It's painful, but we still go through it. So there's okay. certain shoes that are like your all day shoes you can run in. And then there are some shoes that are like, okay, this is maybe like, I have to clock maybe like a 30 standing, 30 minutes, okay. and then I'll do an hour of sitting. So there's like your evening shoe where you know it's a little bit more painful, but it's not meant to be walking down the block like Got homegirl it. from sex. We're not doing all that. Right, so we have to be aware of uh, where, where we're going. You have to know the shoe that you're wearing and what it's appropriate with. So let's move on to your next shoe. Okay, so the next shoe is gonna scare you. I'm not gonna lie. Look at it, look, look, look. I'm not gonna look, look at, at it. it. Look, I, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie! <laughs> This right here, this chunky goodness, we uh -huh. call this a platform. Okay. This is the window to your soul. This you looks like why? the window to hell. No, I'm really scared. No, sis. So let's go back to our chunky heel. Okay. See how our foot is basically on the ground because there's no cushion here, there's no platform, yes. there's nothing. That means that the incline is gonna be steeper. The platform ah. levels out your foot. So, so that I'm like this. Yes, exactly. So you're actually, your foot is a little bit more parallel to the ground. It's like, wearing a running shoe with height. Now it makes sense. The, the, way, the way you describe that, that's a game changer. I know! Me. The more steep your foot is, the more... Discomfort. Yeah, the more discomfort, basically. We're going to now talk about my good friend, the stiletto. So stilettos are really difficult. We talked about them a little bit earlier, but it's all about like how the weight's being distributed. They're basically sucking your foot in and, and it's 
really tight and yeah. it's kind of like, constra it's straining your foot, right? Yes. But with this, there's a lot less pressure because it's letting some of that foot hang out a little bit. Some of the foot flab can just come the out. The flab. Really? It actually really helps make the shoe a lot more wearable, a lot more comfortable. And even though it's still a stiletto, you have one less thing to worry about. This would be probably like for you, your inside shoe. This is like the wear for 10 minutes wear shoe. Wear for five-ish minutes shoe. Okay, so I feel like I know everything that I need to know about comfort, pain, the different types of heels. Mm -hmm. I need you to show me how to walk in heels. You ready to strut, girl? I see you've retired the kittens for the evening. It's, it's okay, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel? Not like I can walk in these. I know, it's a lot. Okay. Just do it, just go. Watch me, watch but me But also go. don't overthink it. Okay. And put your arms down. This isn't okay. parasailing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. You're parasailing. I have to try to parasailing. Okay. One thing that all heel wearers also have to adjust to is you don't plant your whole foot down at the same time when you're wearing heels. Okay. You want to go heel, toe, heel, toe. So your heel is first, uh -huh. then your toe. Heel, then your toe. Watch how I'm walking. My okay. heel's going first, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Heel, toe. Heel, heel, toe. toe. It's a very quick process, so you don't really see it when it's happening. Okay, heel, toe, heel, toe. Oh my heel, God, toe. you're heel, doing toe. Heel, toe. 10 heel, times toe. better. Ready, ready, watch Okay, me. do this again without parasailing. Ah, I need the arms. Heel, toe, yes. heel, toe. <laughs> you did it, oh my God. You actually picked that up so fast. Did I look, did I look sloppy? You, no, you didn't look sloppy at all. You looked amazing. We gotta command attention. We're only five two, sis. Let me tell you something. Once you put these shoes on, you're saying, excuse me, excuse uh -uh. me, <laughs> Captain Carter? You said what? You did what? You look him in the eye, you sway your hips, and then you turn around and go back to your cubicle. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Give it okay. some hip. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, how did I do? I think you did amazing, and I feel like you had a lot of fun. You look like did. you had a lot of fun. Which is honestly the number one rule. Like, what would we look like if we all walked around looking like the pain we've experienced in life? Oh, that'd be pretty crappy. Come on, it? Jackie. Exactly. You that hit me with the metaphor. To so many things. I feel like I can do this. I'm gonna show you the shoes I'm gonna wear tonight. You'll be so proud. Oh my God, you're you already ready? upgrading? Are you ready, girl? Okay. okay, show me. This is the shoe I'm gonna wear tonight. You know what, <laughs> we done. <laughs> I What's thought up? we discussed it. What's wrong with these shoes? After all, Jackie! After all I've taught you. That's still a good shoe. I stand by my choice. I am so happy to have learned a lot about all the different types of shoes. And I want to know, what did you guys learn today? And do you hate or love wearing heels? Let us know down below and keep the conversation going. And thank you so much, Jackie, for teaching me how to rock these heels. Of course.